the choices that we've had as uh, we've started to look at high-speed network solutions are typically in larger ATC type chassis. They require more power, they're fairly specialized, and our customers and our partners really want standard rack and they want smaller, even as the speeds of their networks increase. So a two by 100 gig card with zero packet loss allows us to offer one use solutions to our customers and solve their problems around space and power and cooling. Additionally, having a card that has a standard API allows us to offer a wide range of solutions in the same form factor. The advantage of having a single card with two times 100 gigabit is that it is much easier to deploy this card in data centers because you don't have to do any complicated wiring across the CPUs. And also, from the software point of view, we don't have to pay attention to NUMA nodes because everything is done in a single place instead of having two cards that are much more complicated to configure. The benefit of having hardware timestamps at 100 gigabit is that it is possible to rely on a mechanism implemented in hardware that is delivering to the CPU cores packets at the exact same order as they are being received on the wire. It is not possible, in fact, to implement this feature in software at 100 gigabit, and this feature is compulsory because it is not possible to do network monitoring without receiving packets in order. As software developers, we expect cards to feature more ports, the same level of performance we have today, but on a smaller form factor, like on the 2 times 100 gigabit network accelerator. Not only are we seeing these demand pressures in single data centers, but now with the cloud services that we all use and are expanding rapidly, there are more data centers. So the problem is even more pronounced. And having a two by 100 gig card with no packet loss is really, really important.